Welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Our today's lesson is about division with reminder using regrouping method. Now, for example, if you are given a question like a fish trader add 75 fish to share with the seven customers. How many fish did each customer get? How many fish remained? So in this kind of a question, 75 is our dividend. Seven is our divisor. And the answer that you're going to get is our quotient. Therefore, in this question, you are given 75 divide by 7. Now we are going to use bars to represent our tenths. Therefore, there are seven tenths. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those are seven tenths. And how many ones are there? So in 75, we have seven tenths and five ones. And I want to represent them with circles. One, two, three, four, five. So now we have seven tens and five ones. Let's now start sharing with our seven customers. So customer one, customer two, three, four, five, six, and seven. These are seven customers that you're going to share the 75 fish. Remember, they should get equally. The first tense goes to the first customer. The second one to the second customer. The third one to the third customer. The fourth one. Fifth one. Sixth one. And finally, the seventh one. Now we are remaining with ones. The five ones to share. And we realize that five can't share seven. Remember, they were supposed to take home equal number of fish. Therefore, each customer now gets one tenth. So that one tenth is ten. The other one tenth is ten, 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 ten. Remember, this one represents one tenth. So each customer went home with one ten, one ten. So they went with ten fish. So each customer went home with ten fish. And five fish remained. So five remained. So using the long division, we can say 75 divide by 7. 7 tenths divide by 7 ones. So it's 1. Now 7 tenths, remember these are 7 tenths, which is 70. 70 divided by 7, it's 10. Then 10 times 7, it's 70. When you take away, you get 5. So this 5 is our remainder, whatever remains. So we write it as remainder 5. Each customer got 10 fish and 5 fish remained. And now we have answered our two questions. That is, how many fish did each customer get? 10 fish. How many fish remained? 5 remained. Now let's proceed and do our second example. In our second example, a mother had 56 oranges to share equally with her five children. How many oranges did each child get? Also, how many oranges remained? Divisor. 
So 56 divided by 5. We use now the practical method whereby we regroup 56. How? In 56, we have ones and tens. So how many tens are in 56? There are five tens and six ones. So these are five tens and six ones. Therefore, we use bars to show tens. So one, two, three, four, five. These are five tens and our six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Children are five. So the children are here. This is the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Now let's start sharing the oranges. So we start, we always start with our tenths. So the first tenth goes to the first child, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, and lastly, and the fifth one to the fifth child. Now we are done with our tenths. Let's now go to our ones. Remember, there are six ones. Let's start sharing them. So the first child gets the first one. Therefore, one, or, one orange has remained. Remember, they were supposed to share equally. And one has remained. So how many oranges did each child get? Remember, this one, this bar here, represents one. This tiny zero here represents one. So how many ones are there? One ones. One ten and one ones. One ten and one ones. One ten, one ones. One ten, one ones. Therefore, each child got 11 oranges and the mother remained with one orange. So we have answered our question that how many oranges did each child get? So each child got 11 oranges. And how many oranges remained? One orange remained. Now, that is a practical approach. Now let's do long division. 56 divided by 5. So 5 divided by 5, it's 1. Because 1 times 5, it's 5. When you take away 5 minus 5, is a 0. So now we are done with all the tens. We bring down or we drop the ones. 6 ones divided by 5. It is 1 because of 5. Since 1 times 5 is 5. When you take away 6, take away 5, you get 1. Remember, these children are supposed to share the oranges equally. So one orange can't divide five children. So this is our remainder. We write remainder one. And we write the short form of remainder to be rem one, to mean remainder one. And that is our answer. I wish you the best and kindly subscribe to my channel and leave a comment and also do more practice. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.